Megan, what's going on? Doing good. How are you? Doing good. What does it take that people don't get to be a UFC fighter? I mean, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of, you know, determination to be able to grind every single day to be able to achieve a dream that very few people are able to do. You know, getting a hit is the hardest thing ever to live with, <laughs> yeah. you know, when you're in the ring. I used to box. And it gets to a certain point when it starts to hurt more, right? Yeah. When you reach that point, does it make you tougher, want to train harder, or want to quit? I mean, there's like, you get, there's both. There's, you get hit, and you're just like, nope. I don't want any part of this, and so you got to change the game plan. But then there's sometimes you get hit, and it's like a wake-up call. Like for me, I was always like, a, I needed to get hit first to be able to wake up and be like, oh crap, I'm in a fight right now. I need to get going. So I think there's like two different types of getting hit, and it just depends on which one it is. Isn't it funny as a fighter? Sometimes you got to wait. You can't get up to it enough until you get hit. That's when the fight starts in your head, right? Yeah, well, like, you try to, like, get in that zone before you even get there so you don't have to have that moment. And I think everybody is different, but for me, I always, like, I needed to have that first kind of exchange to be like, oh, okay, like, we're here, it's happening. Have you ever been hit so hard that you saw stars? <laughs> yeah, uh, a couple times, a couple times, uh, kind of like did the little wobble, a uh, couple times. Isn't it indescribable? Because you do see like, like, like a zing, right? You see like a... Yeah, and for me, it was like my brain was fuzzy. Like my whole equilibrium went and it was like I couldn't control my body because it was just so out of whack. Is that your boyfriend back there? No, it was oh. one of my friends. Okay, I was gonna say because like, do you ever like kind of throw punches with your boyfriend? Kind of like, like you do like a little something because, and, and you know you're a accomplished fighter, so. <laughs> I would know. I'm single. <laughs> I would know. <laughs> Sorry. You're single? Yeah. What? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I just keep to myself. Gotcha. I am just grinding, focusing on me, and improving my career, and doing all of these different business opportunities. So, I mean, I haven't really met anyone that I've kind of vibed with, I guess. You're the prettiest UFC fighter, by the way. No. Maybe maybe that's kind of part of it. You're tough, no. and you're so pretty. You that are too kind. I, def I think there's a lot of beautiful women in the UFC. I'm grateful to have you know, being a part of that and, and given six fights to, you know, the UFC roster. Like, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago, um, they just had the 600th women's fight in the UFC, and that was the fight uh, with Michelle Waterson. So to, to be able to contribute six fights to that 600 is just an honor. Sometimes my last question, in, in the world of boxing, fighting, you know, rolling, everything, jiu-jitsu, uh, UFC, MMA, there's some people that are built harder than other people, right? Yeah, it's like, you find with fighters, it's or wrestlers or whatever, it's you, you've got it, you've either got it or you don't. Uh, you've either got that, that dog in you or you don't. And, and you cannot teach that. You cannot teach that when you get hit, you try to hit back harder. Like, that's something that you can't teach. And, and it's very hard to find people. But when you do, if, if you foster it and you culture a good training environment around them, they can go very far. Would you ever date a shorter guy? No. <laughs> I have. I have. <laughs> You're so funny. I have, but it's a personal preference. I gotcha, cannot. gotcha. Of course. Of it course. was too weird for me. <laughs> okay, don't. <laughs> You're awesome. Very funny, very beautiful. Thank you. No worries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Meet you guys. Okay. What's up, guys? Jessica O'Connor with Fab TV. We're here at the Dragon Ball premiere in Los Angeles, California. I'm here with... Fernando, and I just talked to Jay Farrow, and he just gave us the voices, and all the action was so fun. And you talked to? Just about every single star of the movie, the producers. It was a star-studded evening, to say the least. And yeah, we talked to Chris, we talked to Sean, we talked to Zeno, we talked to Alex, all the cool voices of Dragon Ball Superhero. It's an amazing event tonight here at the Oscar, at the Academy Awards, at the Academy. You excited? I'm thrilled. Can't wait. I don't think she's as thrilled as I am. I'm thrilled. I can't wait. It's, it's been seven years since the last film. So here we go. We're about to go inside and watch the movie. Woo! There it is. Bye. Welcome to Fab TV. Look at Hollywood's latest. See all the red carpets dressed to a T. Yeah, you know me. It's all free.